Okay, we got Salem in Brazil, I Julio in Illinois, Joe in Texas, and others I for our guest, John Perkins, Confessions of an Economic Hitman. New book, uh, Hoodwinked, is the working title coming out uh, in November. The book's basically done. He's just doing some footnotes and polishing it up. Great writer. And uh, I'm going to carry this one in our Infowars.com bookstore. I, I meant to carry Confessions of Economic Hitman and just uh, didn't do it a few years ago when it came out because we got so busy. Speaking of uh, books and videos that we carry that expose this stuff, we are carrying America, Freedom to Fascism, the full you know director's cut uh, at Infowars.com and the Aaron Russo uh, exclusive final interview he did before he died. That is now available with added commentary and updates for myself at InfoWars.com, Terror Storm, Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement. These are all great films to get at InfoWars.com and show to your friends and family. Every person you wake up is one step closer to us beating these bankers. They wouldn't be trying to silence free speech, intimidate people, carry out hits all over the third world if this wasn't the case. Before we take a few calls from Brazil and other places, John Perkins, one area we didn't get into today, but you've got to go in about 10 minutes, uh, is what the jackals do, what the hitmen do. You were the guy trying to buy them off. You were the slick corporate operator. Explain what came next if folks didn't go along. Well, yeah, for example, in Ecuador with Jaime Roldos and in Panama with Omar Torrijos, I couldn't bring those guys around. They wouldn't take these big ro loans. They wouldn't corrupt themselves in their country. Uh, and so I was very aware that, that, that there would be tremendous pressure placed upon them. And in some cases, we overthrow governments, like we did in, with Mossadegh in Iran and with Arbenz in Guatemala. In other places, we assassinate the leaders, as we did with Allende in Chile. And that's what happened to both Roldos of Ecuador and Torrijos of Panama, because I couldn't bring them around. And I like both of these men immensely. I was particularly close to Torrijos. Really, really liked the guy. Uh, they were both assassinated. Is that what started waking you up, is that you knew these guys really cared about their people, whether you agree with their politics or not, and you were seeing them, you know, you, you know, one week you're having drinks with them, and a week later they're dead? Yeah, I began to get the, really get the idea about 19, late 1978, early 1979. I was, I was called to Washington in a meeting at the Army and Navy Club with some retired admirals and generals. Uh, and, and read the riot act on, a, on an African president that they wanted me to corrupt, and if I couldn't do that, they were going to take him out. And it became very, very clear to me. Up until that point, I'd been an, an economic hitman for about nine years. And you know, like everybody else, I'd heard, I figured that the CIA was involved in the, in the Yende and most of DAC, but it was all intellectual to me. And I would use it sometimes in arguments with these presidents. Oh, remember what happened to most of DAC? Remember what happened to our men? But... You know, I, I, I didn't have any personal involvement, and suddenly I'm in these meetings in Washington with these generals and admirals, and, and I'm hearing this stuff. And then I'm beginning to see the tremendous pressure that Roldos of Ecuador and, and Torrijos of Panama are under, and then they get assassinated. And I know there's no denying anymore, and that's when I get the hell out immediately. I quit on a day's notice because it suddenly I really, really got it. And it made me absolutely sick and miserable, and I hated myself and, and had to get out. And then a lot of good old boys say, yeah, we're going around killing people to take over. Now they're doing it in America with NORTHCOM. Now they're taking over. What about government-sponsored terror? You know, we know they've done that many times, uh, the Tonkin incident, the Liberty, and others. 9-11, other events, uh, came out, Cy Hirsch reported, Cheney wanted to attack our own ships, but it got vetoed. Uh, what about government-sponsored terror? I mean, these generals are getting pretty ruthless. Well, look at the general that has just been given command of, of Afghanistan. I guess he hasn't been approved yet, but the one that's been proposed from uh, Special Forces, Special Operations, uh, we, you know, he's, he's, he's on record of having been involved in the torture in these places and also having uh, given the c command to have uh, people around the world assassinated, what we call terrorists assassinated. I mean, there's no justification for that. You know, Alex, this whole business of terrorism is an interesting word. It's not an ism. There's no relationship between the terrorists in Colombia, the FARC people, and the terrorists at, at Al-Qaeda. They're totally separate. It's anybody that resists the globalist agenda. Stay there. One more segment. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Many human illnesses can be attributed to the fact that soil in the United States no longer provides plants with the mineral elements which are essential to human nourishment. Many studies have shown that the majority of Americans are deficient in minerals. Deficiency in any one of the more important minerals actually results in disease. 
Go to raworganicvegansuperfoods.com today and see the wide range of foods available that are designed to help your mind and body work the way they were intended to. You can also visit the link on prisonplanet.com to see some of the amazing products available. Folks, you've got to try this. These foods promote nutritional excellence, health and well-being, beauty enhancement, and truly sustainable agriculture. Many foods today have herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, and insecticides that were not intended for human consumption. Go to raworganicvegansuperfoods.com today and see some of the amazing products available. You are what you eat, so eat what your body needs. Remember to go to raworganicvegansuperfoods.com today. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Remember how we were just torturing terrorists. We were just secretly arresting terrorists. Now you learn the Military Commissions Act. The rest of it's for U.S. citizens. They just strip you for citizenship. And now we learn gun owners, returning veterans, number one threat to homeland security. This is un-American. These are globalists. These are internationalists. They are hijacking our nation. And the Pentagon, the higher level brass, are just a bunch of hired mercenary thugs. Just like that chilling Rumsfeld conversation uh, with the retired generals for the PR, where they're going, without another 9-11, we're not going to get this done. We sure need another one, don't we? And they almost come right out and say they did it. These are very sick people. John Perkins, a few more minutes left with him. Uh, Salim in Brazil joining us. Salim, thanks for holding. You're on the air with John Perkins. This is Solomon, Brother John. Solomon in Brazil. Greetings to one of the pioneers in alternative media all worldwide, Brother Alex Jones, and greetings to your distinguished audience that are coming out of the hypnotic trance. And greetings to your distinguished guest, Mr. John Perkins, who I'm very familiar with his work. So um, I, I, I don't know how much time do I have on my car. Not a lot, Solomon. Do you have a question or a comment? Yes, I have a question. I'm familiar with the work of Mr. Uh, uh, John Perkins. What I have seen in John Perkins, like I have seen in Chip Berlay and, and in Chamber Johnson and Noam Chomsky and Howard Seen, is that... Uh, when they are put it in on the spot and they are in some particular very big media uh, outlet, they don't out. They are not always spoken about 911. I don't know why, but they keep for themselves and they know that the 911 is a, a direct relation with with our government and our military. And if they have already talked about that clearly and help it to open up the mind of all the people in the United States, which whom I am a citizen probably the, the, the result will be different. So I don't know why. I still expect to know why the people like him and uh, like others... Are okay, Solomon, Solomon I, Solomon, I understand your question. I want to be able to get a response. You know, John Perkins was just talking about government staging events, but I don't ever blame people who politically don't go as far as I do or don't totally agree with me. As long as they're on the side of the good guys exposing corruption... You know, uh, we should focus on the establishment who's totally against this instead of always fighting with each other about who agrees with this or who agrees with that. I don't I don't know what John's position is on 9-11 being an inside job or not. John Perkins? Well, uh, you know, uh, what I, my, my standard answer to that is I don't have any inside information. And my, my, I write books based on my own personal experience. I like to write about things I know. I know exactly. what happened to Ro Roldos of Ecuador. He was assassinated. I know that Torrijos was assassinated. I was there. Now, 9-11, I don't, I don't have any in, inside information. But what I will say, and I always say, is it's in, I, can, I have an extremely difficult time believing that a guy with a walkie-talkie from a cave in the Himalayas executed this by himself. I don't understand why uh, the Pentagon had a hole blown in it and no heads rolled, no generals lost their jobs, no, no videos ever been produced to show anything. I think it's extremely suspect. Uh, I can't, you know, it's really hard to believe that anything like that happened without inside help. But I can't say that from a position of, of having any personal knowledge. That's why I... I Absolutely. I you off. choose to go off what you know, and you, and you went to the big military, and, 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 you know, you've named the generals and people in your book, and, and, and you've had a lot of courage. We appreciate you. Let's take another call. Julio, quick question from Illinois. Go ahead. 
Hey, guys, how are you? Alex, first-time caller. I appreciate your work. I saw the Obama deception. I love it. And, uh, John, thanks for what you're doing. I saw the second zeitgeist. I realized 